Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a remake. We're talking about a stuffed cheeseburger. It was so popular in our live, we thought we'd make it for you guys. You guys stay tuned. Here we go, right? So we did a live, our very first live. We thought it was very successful. We have no idea what everybody else thought, but we enjoyed it. Two hours going strong, and we absolutely had a blast. The idea was the cook along. The idea was a Juicy Lucy. What is a Juicy Lucy? Juicy Lucy is basically just a cheese stuffed burger, caramelized onions, pickles, and mustard. If you know me and followed me, you know I like to take things here to there, right? Without a shadow of a doubt, we knew going into this that we wanted to make our own twist. We did, and dang it, we nailed it. And it was so good and so popular, and it's got so much great feedback, we thought we'd share it with you guys who haven't had a chance to watch the live. Let's get started on the ingredients. Really quick, of course, 80-20 ground beef, I was gonna do some um, some like uh, shoestring style fried onions, but we found these at the store. It just helps the process along a little bit faster. Crispy jalapenos, some crispy onions. The kicker, the boars and cheese, and to top that off, we thought it needed something and dang it, it did. And there's a result, a jalapeno pepper jelly that sets this burger over the top. Easy peasy. And you could do it a thousand different ways. First things first, let's smash our burgers. All right, so here's the idea. You're basically making the same amount of weight on your balls. I'm, that's golly, that's just about perfect. About three to four ounces, okay? A little bigger won't matter. Just make sure they're uniform. We kind of did ours, uh, we kind of did ours freehand and we didn't need like a burger press or, you know, one of those fancy dancy gadgets. I kind of like this a little bit better because I feel like you get more edge to edge coverage. So this is the idea. You got your beat ball and you're going to smash it first. Okay, you want the size of a smash burger, right? So just work it around evenly. Perfect, right? You really can't see through it. That's just about perfect. All right, we got our uh, Pit Boss griddle heating up right now. I'm gonna take some of this uh, boars and cheese. How and much would you say? Uh, maybe a couple tablespoons. It really depends on how much meat that you spread out, right? You don't want it to be uh, too thick and you don't want it too close to the edges. You wanna help it out a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. trying to keep a clean zone over here all right just like that right so that reminds you about a slice of a cheese now that that's done you're going to take your top patty put it over top just like that right almost looks like we know what we're doing and then it's a pinch game pinch the edges and you want to seal the edges really well you're going to reform this burger Don't do it. Don't do it. Bah, don't do it. All right, just like that. Now I'm gonna wash my hands, get cleaned up. We'll be right back. All right, so this is the deal. My kids just got me this fancy dancy spice holder because I kept complaining I'm out of room. If these jokers don't fit in there perfect, look at that. Now I've got all my pit ball spices just lined up nice and neat. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you, kids. Found it at Target, $5. Hashtag girl dad. $5. Right. You guys know I love my bold burger rub. It's very neutral. Just go ahead and season the top. Hit right there on your hot side. You go ahead and season the top. You got the top, the bottom, the top, and the bottom. All right, when your burger's ready to flip, get a good landing zone. Save all that beef fat because that's what we're going to toast our buns in. Oh, yeah. Look at that crust. Look at that dang crust. So, here's the deal our crispy jalapenos and our onions during the live, all I did was just kind of think about how much would go on a burger. 
and we're just warming them up. You're not, do it's not going to cook it or anything like that. It just gives it a crunch, you know, eating and food a lot of times is about simple things. Acid, balance, sugar, salt, pepper, heat, crunchy, soft, textural. There's so many things that go on in your mind, in your brain, we're eating. So this was just a perfect example of adding that little necessary crunch. There we go. See that toast right there? Just looking for a nice little toast. I'm gonna cut that heat. I don't wanna cook my burger to death. Just like that. All right, guys, like I said, super easy. It's time to build. Just take as much pepper jelly as you need. I know people are kind of hesitant and nervous about it. If you guys follow us, I say it all the time. My wife does not like spice. And do you like this burger? It's fantastic. Fantastic. The jelly is not too spicy. It's it actually, like a sweet spicy. Yeah, you you almost need it. Yeah, so the nice, sweetness is nice. Just put a base on it just like that. You allowed that burger to rest. Hit it with your crunchies. Woo -wee! If that's not a thing of beauty, for all the people that cuss smash burgers, oh, I gotta have my thick juicy burger, this one's for you. For the people that need the extra cheese, this one's for you. And for the people that wanna up the burger game, this one's for you. You ready? Ta-da! Mm, 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 mm. Na na, na na, na 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 na. Hmm. Mm. That one, you're definitely gonna have to feed me. <laughs> mm. It looks pretty messy. Is it as good as the first time we made it? I think it's better. Better? Maybe because of anticipation. Because you knew what it was gonna taste like. The cream cheese and the jelly. The borzen. What'd I say? Cream cheese. The borzen and the jelly are like the components that almost any dish could have. This is one of the best okay, burgers. Okay, give me a bite, give me a bite. Mm. That big old mammer jammer. Good God almighty, honey. I'm gonna start filming you and see how big a bite you take. Mm. Mm. Give me another bite. <laughs> mm. We gonna finish this video out like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we made it again. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even like burgers. I know. <laughs> All right, let's finish up. Here we go. Let's do our deed. First and foremost, thank each and every one of you. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below for each and every one of you that have reached out or commented or curious about it. Our griddle school is now open. If you guys want more information about it, you guys can contact us directly <clears throat> through social media or you can look at the join button we have an option there for you as for the griddle group on facebook if you haven't tried it you guys should it's where we share all of our recipes it's where we get our inspiration it's where we communicate back and forth it's where we get to see what you guys are cooking and that's what creates the passion for us thanks for watching don't forget to press the subscribe button pound the notification button share it with your friends this one was awesome I need more jelly. I'm going for the other bite. You can have a bad bite. <laughs> there is no bad bite. Mm. Mm.